Okay, let's have a look at how to name alkenes and alkynes. First thing we need to do is select the base chain that contains the carbon-carbon double bond for an alkene or the carbon-carbon triple bond for our alkyne. We then use the suffix "-ene", for our alkene, or "-ein", for our, our alkyne. So let's look at three molecules. They all have three carbons in them, so we use the prefix "-prop". In this case, it's a completely saturated molecule with no double bonds, so it's "-prop-ane", it's an alkane. Our second molecule contains a double bond, so we use "-prop", again, and it's "-ene", because it's an alkene. Our third molecule contains a triple bond, so it'll be prop-ine because it's an alkyne. What happens if our molecule contains the double bond somewhere that's not terminal? So I've done a shorthand version here with carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5, or it could be 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. Our, our rule says that we name the carbon-carbon double bond or triple bond with the smallest carbon number. So in this case, I could either name it this way or this way. Our rule says that we look for the lowest carbon number. So we look at carbon number one, number two. Our double bond is coming off carbon number two. So we call it pentene because it's a double bond. We don't name this one three pentene. So we don't go to carbon 1, 2 and 3 because that's not the lowest carbon number for that double bond. Now we can also name alkenes and alkynes with branched chains. In pre or the preference is to name our double bond with the lowest carbon number first, as we've said in our rule number 3. So let's look at a molecule such as this one. We have carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and we have some other groups coming off it. Our rule up here says that we look for the lowest carbon number for our alkene or alkyne. So we've got one hexyne, carbon, six carbons, so it's a hex for our prefix, and it's an yne because it's a triple bond. So this one will be one hexyne. We've also got some alkyl groups coming off our main carbon chain. So at carbon number one, two, three, we have an ethyl group. That's two carbons off this one, so it's an ethyl group. And at carbon number one, two, three, four, we have a methyl group coming off. So how do we name this molecule fully? If we remember back, we've got to have our one hexane. We also say at number three, we've got an ethyl. And we do this alphabetically, so the ethyl comes before the methyl. So at carbon number 3 we've got 3 ethyl, carbon number 4 we've got 4 methyl, 1 hexane.